have Roxy, and as you see, we have some construction and grass and lawn work going on, so we have some really loud noises, and it's really helping with the desensitizing. We did just get back from a nice long field trip to one of our somewhat local high schools, and Roxy rode free on the back seat, did great loose in the car as always, and now we're just out on a walk, kind of giving her a break from training and from our field trips. As you see, she's out here with two other puppies that are not her litter mates. We try to make sure that we don't keep our litter mates together 24-7, especially with her and Casey going home together. Want to give Roxy some one-on-one -on -one time with some other puppies. And as you see, she's doing really great. Just going to kind of give you a glimpse at her personality with some other puppies and how she interacts well with them. And then, actually, I'm gonna snag the other trainer that's with me and have her make Roxy sit, just so I can show you and assure you that she's listening to other voices other than just my Roxy. own. She's chewing some grass. Roxy, come here. Sit. We like to do this just to make sure that our puppies mind to other voices than just yeah. their original trainer. And her training puppies are a little jealous, like I would like some treats too. And as you see, even with other puppies around, Roxy follows through. Roxy, go. Go. And like I said, the biggest reason we do this is we want to make sure that our puppies mind to more than just one voice. Just because she does great with me doesn't mean that they always necessarily are going to transfer that right over. So by having her practice with other voices, I have her do this more on field trips with students and other places like at stores, just making sure she minds to others. But this just kind of gives you a glimpse as to how she's doing with that. And as you see, even with the distraction of other puppies, she's still minding to Michaela very, very well. <laughs> she's gonna try and steal that other puppy's treat. There you go. And Michaela doesn't reward that jumping. She rewarded once she had some calm behavior. So we'll continue walking. We're very fortunate here at Lewis Manor and have many, many acres to just kind of enjoy and wander with the pups. But yeah, so this is just kind of a glimpse as to Roxy's personality without her litter mates, not in a massive group of puppies, but with just a couple other ones, as well as her minding to another voice other than just my own. This way. Good girls. Good job, honey. Good job, Roxy. So here we have Roxy. This way, Roxy. Good girl. And we are swimming today. After such a hot day, it's great to cool off and let them just kind of enjoy being puppies here. We have a bunch here taking turns swimming. This way, Roxy. She can actually touch, so she's standing on her hind legs. <laughs> this way, Roxy. This way, good girl. Now she can't touch, she's actually swimming. Good girl. <laughs> she's doing great with this. Such a great week too. Roxy, this way. Yes, good job. Good girl, this way. Good job, Roxy. Good job. This way. This way, Roxy. Good job. This way, Roxy. Come on. Let's go, good girl. She's doing so good with this. 